Okay, so before we discuss further this uh, designing experiment, we need to come up, uh, we need to understand some terms. So, so the common terms that we usually encounter in doing research, okay, is we have this treatment or treatments, experimental unit or sampling unit, and then the response variable. So maybe some of you are already familiar with these terms, but maybe those who are just starting no, their research or learning statistics. So um, we need these terms. Now we need to understand these terms. Not moving. Okay, so just to give you a picture of the relationship of those terms, okay, so we have this treatment. So, how is this treatment related to experimental unit? So, you can see the picture there. So, you can see that the treatment is applied to the experimental unit, okay, and then later on we gather the data. So, that's your response or responses, okay. So, this is how we picture out, and then okay, so to formally define. A treatment, okay, so treatment or factor, sometimes we call it a factor, includes the different procedures or conditions to be compared. Okay, so you have the intention to compare those procedures or conditions, okay, or formulations or applications or, or methods. Okay, and these procedures or conditions are actually your treatment levels. Okay, so these are the preset quantities of a quantitative treatment or categories of a treatment under study. Okay, so example, okay, so just to give you an idea, so we have this type of sugar. So you have, you have the intention or you really want to compare this uh, different types of sugar in terms of uh, sweetness you know, when they are applied to cakes. Okay, so these types of sugar, which, is, uh, which includes the icing, the granulated, and the dark muscovado. So these are the types that you want to compare. So these are your treatment levels. Another example is a type of irrigation. So this is a very agricultural example. Um, you want to compare the different types, the surface, the sprinkler, the drip, and the subsurface. Okay, so how do you compare? Or how do you compare these types? So you need to apply this to, for example, rice. Okay, and then later on we get the yield. Okay, so we can now compare in terms of yield. Okay, another example is the teaching method. So this is very common, I think nowadays okay you want to compare the performance of your students no say math score so you compare the teaching method online face to face and mix online in terms of their performance okay so just to give you an idea kung ano yung mga levels na yun. so depende yun sa research so these are just my examples another example another term that we need to learn is this experimental unit so the eu so unit or group of units to which treatment is applied once, okay? So you applied, you know the treatment, okay? You know your treatment level, you apply it to a subject or to a unit. So we call that an experimental unit. So once ka lang mag apply ng treatment sa isang experimental unit. And then, oh, example, we have plot of land, a class of students, or a plant, or a tree, or a dish, no? Or a flask, okay, in the laboratory, or a test tube, okay? And then... Another term is the sampling unit. So it's a portion of the experimental unit on which the response variable is observed and measured. So meaning to say it's just a portion. So you cannot afford to measure the whole experimental unit or the whole plot. So you just need to get some subsamples, okay? Okay, so we call them sampling units. So example, a seedling in a seed bed, a tree in a group of trees, a sample in a batch. Okay, take note here, Wait, I will move this. Sampling unit may be the whole experimental unit. Sometimes our research is up to the level of experimental unit. So we don't do subsamples or we don't get subsamples. Okay? So that's it. So sometimes nga, same lang yung experimental unit with that uh, sampling unit. Okay, another term is the response variable. Okay, so basically these are just the outcomes that you observe, no? in the field or in the laboratory. So example, yield of the crop, height of the plant, gain in weight, volume of sales or math score or any other variables or any other data, okay? Okay, so we have this uh, simple example here just to, uh, to test know how you understand this treat, uh, these terms. Okay, so determine the treatment, the response variable, the experimental unit and the sampling unit, okay? 
Number one, an experiment was conducted on the effects of three sulfur applications. So we have three levels, 300, 600, 1,200, on treating scab disease in potatoes. So each application were randomly assigned to five plots. So if you can imagine, we have one application applied to how many plots? Five, okay? And this percentage of surface area of potato that was infected with scab, or we call it scab index, was measured from each plot. Okay, so based on this example, can you determine now the treatment? What's the treatment of the study? Full for applications, and then response variable. So what's your data here? Okay, your scab index. And the next is the experimental unit. So where do you apply? Where did you apply the, the applications? Or the sulfur applications. So to the five plots or to the plots. So that's your experimental unit now. Okay. How about sampling unit? Do you have a sampling unit here? Okay. So let's see. Okay. We have a no sampling unit in that experiment or example. So just to summarize, again, the treatment in the example is the sulfur application and then the treatment level. So we have this specific levels, 300, 600, and 1,200. And then the response variable is your scab index or the percentage. And then the experimental error is where you applied your treatment. So yung yung plots and then sampling unit is the, or none. Oh, there's no sampling unit. Okay, another example. A researcher wanted to determine if there were differences on the amount of calories among the three types of hot dogs. So, for example, we have these three flavors, uh, beef, pork, and chicken. So he selected three hot dog packages from each type and took three pieces of hot dogs from each package in which he took, he took measurements of the amount of calories. So, ang haba, ano? So, what happens now is that we have these different types and then we have, from each type, we have different packages. However, we were not able to... We, to measure, we cannot measure all the packages, okay? So what we get, uh, what we do is we get only few or say three hot dogs, okay? So now, determine the treatment, the response variable, the experimental unit, and the sampling unit. Is there sampling unit here? Okay, so think, I'll read again the problem. Okay, so I'll show you now the answer. Okay, so you can see the problem here in the... In the left hand side okay so the answer okay we have treatment the types of hot dogs and then the treatment levels we have the specific um flavors or so pork chicken beef and then the response variable is the amount of calories and then the experimental unit okay that's the packages the hot dog packages okay and then now here comes the sampling unit which is or which are just the three pieces of hot dogs from each package okay so you can now relate now my wedding uh, there's an experiment that up to the level of experimental unit, then there is also another experiment uh, which is up to the level of a sampling unit. 